Right, so I have an open jewel socket and I need to make a new blade jewel. So in this video I'm going to show you how I go about making these jewels. Alright, so we're going to use a fractured crimson jewel as the base and we're going to look for the following mods. For prefixes, we're looking for global fizz damage, maximum life and ailments deal damage faster. For suffixes, we're looking for damage over time multiplier and physical damage over time multiplier. Alright then, so I've picked up this jewel. It has 8% physical damage over time multiplier as a fracture. It was about a 50 chaos jewel, so it's not too bad. Now what we're going to do is alteration spam this until we get a prefix that I mentioned earlier. And then we'll regal it and hopefully get something good. So let's try and get life or something. Okay, we've got fizz, regal. I don't need strength, so we re-roll. Got fizz again. Don't need armor. We re-roll. Try again. Fizz again, regal. Not to hand build, so I'm going to ignore that. Re-roll again. We'll just repeat this process until we get something we want. Okay, we've got life, regal, okay, we've got fizz, that's really good, and melee damage, so okay, that's a good jewel. Okay, so I've picked up another jewel, this one has damaging ailments, steal damage 6% faster, and it was about 20 chaos. Now, I don't like these ones as much, because this is a prefix, and I find it's a lot easier to hit prefixes than it is to hit suffixes, so it's a bit of a pain in the ass to get the mods you want. Obviously with that said, we're going to be looking for those suffixes that I mentioned earlier and I'm going to settle on bleed damage as well if we roll that. So hopefully we get something pretty quick. Okay, we've got damage with bleeding. We're going to regal that. Uh, poison damage, which is useless. So we're going to try again. Okay, damage over time multi, regal. Uh, it's not the best, but we can exalt slam, I guess. And that's useless, so uh, let's re-roll. Don't need attributes. Um, max lightning, that was actually usable. Okay, it's going to be a really good um, resistance drill, actually. But yeah, that's usable. Okay. Okay, so hold up. That jewel isn't just usable, alright? The two resistance modifiers make it a two divine jewel, but with our ailment modifier, the jewel is easily five divines or more. Okay, so I've picked up another one of these cheap little 20C jewels, and what we're going to do now is harvest craft. We can either use these yellow life force uh, flowers or the physical mods, or we can use the red ones to obviously get a life mod. Now, it's a lot easier to hit fizz mods because we've got fizz damage and there's fizz damage over time multiplier. Whereas life is obviously just life. That's the only one you want to get. So it's a bit harder to hit that. So I'm going to use this uh, physical one. It is more expensive because it's yellow life force, but it is more likely to hit something good. Like this, we've got double fizz. Um, okay. Exalt slam and hope we get something like uh, life. Actually, you can't get life. Um, lead or just damage or time multi, I guess. Melee damage? Oh, that works. That works. That is a lot of damage right there. Sadly, this one wasn't worth as much. Okay, so that's how I go about crafting these bleed jewels. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.